Hey there guys, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial series. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at how we can use floats inside of Unreal Engine 4. So in the last video we did take a look at integers and integers are very similar to floats. And why I'm saying that is because floats and integers are both numerical values. However, with an integer it has got to be a whole number whereas a float is going to allow decimal places. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is delete all of my integer code here, and then I'm going to go to the variables tab in the top left here and add a new variable. I'm going to give this a name, test float, and then on the details tab, I'm just going to change this to a float value and then compile this. And then with this, you'll notice in the details panel, it is going to allow me to use a decimal point. So essentially at the moment, you can see here it says 0, 0.0. So if I wanted to, I could set this value to something like 0 0.5, 2.4, and you can have as many decimal points in there as you want. So it can be, allow you to be a little bit more accurate with your information. So where you need to use frac uh, where you need to use, you know, deep information like that, where you have percentages and so on, then you might want to use a float instead of an integer. Whereas with the integers, if you type in something like 2.5, it's just going to round it up or round it down, essentially. So moving on, let's go ahead and show you how you can use this float. So the first thing that you can do is you can get a reference to your float. So that's going to take the information. And then if you wanted to, you could just chuck this into a print string and have this displayed on the screen. So with my test float selected, I can see the value is 2.3. With this hooked up into my begin play inside of my level blueprint, when the level loads up, it should show me the value of my test float. So let's just check this. If we compile, press play, and in the top left, it's not doing anything. It's just saying hello, and that's because I put the float into the duration. So just be careful with that. So add the print string, and then put it into the in string, which is gonna convert the float to a string, and just like this. And now, if we press play, it's gonna say 2.32, and all of the rest of the information. Now what we can also do with this float information, we can use mathematical functions to change this number in the same way that we did with the integers. So what I mean by that is what I could do is I could right click and type in float plus float and I could just add the float value onto something else so I could get the original value and then add say 3.5 and then I could print this onto a string and display that number. So if I do that, convert the end result, which is always to pin on the return value here, and then put this into the end string and hook this up to begin play, this should now show me 2.32 plus 3.5. So let's test this, press play, and you can see it now says 5.8 at the top and that was our two numbers added together and once again just like any other integer what uh, any other variable you can use set test float to store that value after you've done that mathematical function so i could take this from the return value over here and then just use it to set and keep that value to what it's just been set to using this mathematical function. So now, if I go ahead and add a delay, and then do print string again, getting a reference to test float, what it should do is give you the stored number, ignoring this from earlier on. So let's just set the duration to three on the delay, so you can see that. So if we press play, it says 5.8, it stores the information, and then it's going to see what is stored in the variable and display it on the screen. And hopefully, you guys are beginning to see just how you can work with floats. It's a numerical value, and because of that, you can do all of your stuff. So you can do division, 
addition, uh, sorry, division, addition, multiplication, and all of that good stuff. Anyway, I'm going to keep the video short and just end it here. Uh, but once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.